Hi guys! So today I'm here with a what's in my bag video and I'm so excited. I haven't done one of these yet so I'm super excited about it. My bag that I'm showing you today is my Alexander Wang Rocco. Yeah, the Rocky is the smaller one. I have the Rocco, which is the full size. I have the black Dumbo leather with the rose gold hardware. I'm obsessed with it. I got it for my birthday a year ago. Yeah, my birthday's in July, so I got it my birthday last year. I'm obsessed. I did order it. I called the Alexander Wang Boutique in Soho, New York to order it because I'm having a hard time finding it in San Diego, which is where I live. Um, I think it was just because of the season, maybe. They didn't have the Dumbo in black with the rose gold. It was sold out. I just ordered it from Soho. And I think the guy's name was Kevin. I don't know. I'll link the store's information below, and I'll link the bag also. Um, yeah, they were super nice about it. Um, I called... <laughs> I ordered my own birthday present. I called, and yeah, they like... I think they like overnighted it or two-day shipping to me. It was great. Um, yeah, so this is kind of my everyday bag. It's pretty big. I like big bags. I have some smaller ones too, but this is kind of... fits everything, and then some. It's really heavy like heavy because of all of the studs on it and I have too much stuff in it so let's get started the first thing we'll start with my wallet um this is a Marc Jacobs wallet I got it this Christmas yeah this past Christmas I'm sorry if you can hear that there's construction going on in my building it's been going on for like months it's not ending we're getting over it okay and my dog's in the background, if you can see him. Hi. Um, yeah, so this is a Marc Jacobs wallet. Mark by Marc Jacobs is actually, like, they're discontinuing that whole, like, lower end line of the Marc Jacobs empire. So I think this was on sale, and I've seen them everywhere on sale lately. Like, all of the Mark by Marc Jacobs items are, like, going on sale because Mark by Marc Jacobs. I just got a call, and I just got a new job, and I just got offered it over the phone. I'm so excited, so... Sorry, I'm a little friend. So, I don't know where it was. Marc Jacobs wallet. Yes, love it. Um, I'm obsessed with this wallet because the zipper is so nice. Like, it just opens and closes so easily. Um, like, a fuck ton of receipts. Um, card. There's, like, a coin zipper in the middle. It's a great wallet. I love it. I'll show you my sunglasses. I have two pairs of sunglasses in here right now. The first one are these Celine sunglasses that I bought myself last year for my birthday also with my purse. No, it wasn't my birthday. It was in like June. Um, I don't know. I think these are the old Audrey's. Well, they're not. They're just the Audrey's by Celine. I will put the little number down below and a link to them. These are polarized. I love them. I'll show you. They're just like, they cover your whole face and yeah, they're great. Love them. I love Celine glasses. Okay. And then I have these Ray-Ban aviators and they're all black these i i don't know i like these because they're so light um so if it's not that sunny out or i need i like options you know there's nothing wrong with i have a lot of shit in here next i have my little makeup pouch where there's mostly lip products i just got this little pouch at target it's sony kashik i got it like two weeks ago so they still have some um the zip on is kind of shitty i'm i'm big into like good quality hardware um which is why i like to spend a lot not a lot more but like i like to invest in my accessories but i just saw this it was really cute the zipper is really shitty on it though a rimmel exaggerate full color lip liner in east end snob love i have a anastasia clear brow doll i have a ysl volupte tint and oil in Number six. No. This is a Bare Mineral Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in Spark Plug. Dear God, that was terrifying. Holy shit. Um, I just almost died. I'm sorry if this angle just changed drastically, but everything just came tumbling down. A Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in Supermodel. This is amazing. I love this lip. I have a Carmex. 
I just got this and I don't think I've used it yet. It's the Rimmel Show Off Lip Velvet Matte. It's on sale at Target, so naturally I had to buy it. It's really pretty. It's in 206 Atomic Rose. I've never even seen the, the matte ones before. And then I saw it on sale. So I guess they're discontinued or Target's not carrying them anymore. But I really like it. It's pretty. I just haven't used it yet. Um, I have a little sample of Urban Decay Perversion Bigger, Blacker, Badder Mascara. This is really cute. Um, yeah, I really like this little brush. It's like fat and it's really wet. And it gets a lot of mascara on your lashes at once, which is what I like. Yeah, so if I don't have makeup on and I like need to quickly impress somebody, I will put some like of the mascara and the clear brow gel and some like of the lip oil tint stuff. And I am like dressed to impress basically. I have a Shiseido pressed powder. This is the like SPF pressed powder. I don't actually know the name of it because when you buy them, you buy like the pan and the little compact separately. And then you can't see the name because it's not on the compact. Oh my god, this thing is so cute. This little Tony Moly lip balm. Mini cherry lip balm. Made in Korea. It's like slightly tinted. It smells a lot like the original EOS lip balm. It kind of has that like, it's the jojoba oil in it. But it kind of smells like olive oil to me and I really like it. And then, oh, this looks disgusting. There's like shit floating in this perfume. But oh, that's not cute. Okay. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White Rollerball Perfume. I got this. It was like a 100 point perk, I think. I love this perfume. I'm not like a huge perfume person, so I don't know if I will buy the full size. Oh, but I really like it. And then I have a little hair tie. These are my preferred hair ties. These little like curly key ones. You can get them. Um, this one I actually got at like a random hair salon in a mall in South Africa when I was studying abroad. It was, what mall was that? Irrelevant. It was in Cape Town. That's irrelevant to the store. But you can get them everywhere now pretty much. But when I first got them like two years ago, my roommate who was from Shanghai took me to this like Asian grocery store that had like a cosmetics department in the back of it. And she got me hooked on them. So now I have like 50 billion of them. They're amazing. Purse is lighter already. I have a few pairs of chopsticks from a sushi place I went to last night. What is this? Movie ticket receipts. I saw, what did I see? San Andreas. AMC. It was really good. I'm obsessed with The Rock. Holy cow. Oh my god. He's so attractive. This is yet another lip gloss. This is the Buxom full on lip cream in white russian cult favorite my favorite i just got this not that long ago i like convinced myself that i didn't need it for like years and i just got it and i don't know how i lived without it for so long i have a mac lipstick it's a cream sheen here zen babe some gum i just got this last night at target trident white i like the gums that come in these little like packets instead of the like strips of gum for some reason I don't I really like Asian, not necessarily Asian makeup, but like not even skincare, just like Asian body products, I guess. So I have this hand cream from Shiseido. All of this is in Japanese. The first ingredient in it is alcohol, though, and I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how good this is for me. Shit. Whatever. I like it. It's great. I also, I just got this at Sephora the other day. It's so cute! The Tony Moly Pocket Bunny Sleek Mist. And it's just like a facial spray. I'll show you. Mm. I don't know that it does wonders for my makeup or anything, but it's just like refreshing. And it's so cute! It's a little bunny with eyelashes. I have this little tiny wet brush. I have a Hello Kitty Dial hand sanitizer. It smells like a fruity cocktail. My car keys. Gross random change floating in the bottom of my bag. I just recently got my hair cut this length. If you guys want a um like a tutorial or just like how I do my hair, a video on that, like this video or leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Um yeah, because I'm still kind of trying to figure out. I just got my hair cut this short. It was like long for the past like couple years at least. This is the shortest my hair has ever been. Um and I'm still kind of like playing around with it. Um, so I'm still like, 
I don't know, but I would love to do a video on how I do it, just how I style it and stuff, um, and get your opinion on it. So let me know. There is like a zipper pocket inside this bag, and there's two like cell phone -y pouches. I have an iPhone 6 Plus though, and it doesn't fit in here. So I just put like my lip gloss and my gum and stuff in those pockets. Um, but that is it. Quickly, I will show you what I'm wearing, kind of. Um, my watch is Marc Jacobs. I will leave the link for it down below. My ring is from Tiffany's. All my necklaces, these little silver necklaces, are from Dog Eared. You can get them at Nordstrom. I'll leave a link to it. Um, and my earrings are just stolen from my mom. They are, I never wear hoop earrings, but she said that hoop earrings were her thing. And I couldn't wear them anymore. So I had to pretend like I didn't even like them. Put these on and I kind of dig them with my short hair. They like, they're flowy and fun. Um, my shirt is from Cotton On. It's just kind of this like long sleeve, but I roll them up. Um, yeah, and I just have on some like distressed boyfriend jeans from Citizens of Humanity. So that is, oh, and then this is my phone that's always in my purse too. Yeah, iPhone 6 Plus, I have the gold one and it's amazing. Anybody who says these phones are too big, it's kidding themselves and they're just in denial because they hate their own phone. Um, I love this phone. Yeah, so that is my bag. Thanks for watching everybody.